Hi, and welcome to our yet another episode of Talks on uh, Comperface. Um, uh, just uh, just to recap, last time we spoke about uh, what technologies uh, our um, Exadel Comperface uses. Um, now, in this episode, we will briefly discuss different face recognition options available out there on the market. And we will also go over the way these can be integrated into your existing systems or, or products. Uh, again, we've got uh, with us um, Sergey Pospilov, our AR practice head. Hi, Sergey. Hi, everybody. Hi. Uh, so, um, okay, Sergey. So, um, the first question is, sir, um, at, as a business owner, uh, if I would like to integrate uh, one of my systems, say uh, my employee attendance system with, uh, you know, face recognition, uh, what are the options available out there on the market right now? Uh, okay, so you have quite a lot of options. Uh, let's start from the probably easiest one is software as a service solution. Uh, for example, Amazon recognition is the one. And what is the pros is uh, that it, this is the easiest way to integrate. Uh, they have like very good documentation. They just uh, provide REST API and all you need just to integrate with it. And you don't need to manage your servers. Uh, everything is handled by Amazon in this case. It really sounds great, but there is one very high, good, like, bad disadvantage. Uh, basically, this is very expensive, and uh, you pay for the volume of the requests, and as more requests you do, as more money you pay. And uh, the another disadvantage is basically that you send uh, very sensitive information to the servers, and you don't know what is going on there, so basically you don't control the data. Another option is... Uh, paid self-hosted solutions. Uh, in this case, you host the solution on your servers uh, or like uh, on cloud, on premises. And uh, uh, the advantage of it, uh, of course, that you control the data and you know what is going on. And it's uh, probably potentially cheaper than software as a service solutions. Uh, the disadvantage is that you need to manage your own servers and probably you'll need DevOps for it. But uh, I don't know, probably you already have one if you don't have like uh, several solutions. And of course, uh, another option is uh, to have like free self-hosted open source solution, which is Comperface is. And uh, here, of course, you have the total control in this case, uh, not only for data, but also for the behavior, because you can look at the code and uh, see what is going on. And uh, the, because of the, its open source, you can change it uh, for your business needs and it will fit perfectly. Uh, the disadvantage is basically the same that you need to manage your own servers. And the last uh, option, basically, you can just uh, build your custom so solution from scratch. Uh, you will do it like in the perfect way and uh, it will be like the best, but you will need to spend lots of money for developers and you will need to find these developers with uh, computer vision, uh, face recognition, machine learning knowledge, some architects, DevOps, database experts, uh, etc. So basically it's a lot of work here. Okay, great. Uh... Yeah, I mean, it all sounds great, Sergey. But uh, I mean, let, let's talk some numbers. Yeah. So basically, we just take uh, two uh, solutions. Uh, first of all, this Compreface, and another one is uh, Amazon Recognition. Uh, for Amazon Recognition, the price is quite straightforward. You pay for the number of requests, uh, which is uh, costs uh, one dollar per uh, one thousand requests. Uh, so if you have quite uh, not much of the requests, you'll pay not a lot of money, right? But if you have, for example, recognition from videos or even from images, but you have quite a big, uh, like, uh, volume of the requests, you'll pay lots of money, as you can see. For Comperface uh, and other self-hosted solutions, it's uh, a little bit tricky because you are paying for the server. In this case, we just took, uh, again, the server rented in Amazon, but this is just a server, and you pay, uh, like, a static price uh, per 
hour or per year and in this case it will be like 440 dollars per year uh no not per year per month and uh, yeah, so basically this is the number. So in case if you have quite small application, probably this is a good way to go with uh, Amazon recognition. And if you have have the cameras with video streams, probably it will cost you a lot with Amazon. So it's better to go with some free solutions. Okay, great. So, um... Uh, so, so how does the development of, of the product, I mean, um, a face recognition, uh, you know, what does it look like? Uh, so basically, imagine if you uh, develop some employees attendance system, what do you need? You need some your business logic. So this is like uh, your element development of your business logic then you'll need some face recognition system in our case this is compreface and you need to integrate it into your system uh, then you'll need of course to pay for the uh, basically production uh, that we already discussed so this is like very standard way and uh, in the in case of compreface uh, this element is uh, free of charge so all you need to pay only to the development of your business logic and to integrate with uh, the solution okay great so uh the last but not least sergey so so what are the i would say the the, the other most common elements of, of facial recognition products yeah, so basically your business logic can contain of different elements, uh, which is uh, very common. For example, again, for attendance system, this is very popular to have like admin application. If you have, uh, for example, like uh, authentication using face recognition in the phone, it will require client application. Uh, the other elements like authorization also very common. Uh, you will have like a uh, system of roles to control the data and uh, if it's uh, like uh, recognition from the videos you'll need some video processing server that split the video into the frames and of course it could be any other your components and uh, basically uh, there are different business cases and different components okay great thank you very much uh, for that sergey and uh well uh, thanks everyone for for watching our short Q and A on, on facial recognition. Now, if, if you would like to learn um, a little bit more about face recognition, please go to our uh, website at exadel.com or uh, visit our YouTube channel. Um, also, in the description below, you will find information on our upcoming uh, webinar on cost of face recognition. So, um, thank you very much, Sergey, and well. Um, Stay tuned for another episode uh, of Short Talks on AI and Comperface. Okay, thank you. Thank you.